successful fraud investigator previous to taking this on to, to just to be able to have you on and, know, and see how astute you are because almost everybody else I talk to in the media or in research doesn't get it but the mainstream media and the big think tanks will tell you what they're going to do before how they package the propaganda how they roll it out and exactly they're telling us that those states that were normally Republican are now uh, going to go for Hillary and as you said, you're more of a liberal, but a classical liberal, a real liberal, the type of liberal I respect, that tells the truth no matter what. So I don't want to put words in your mouth, but as a liberal, uh, I mean, is it not clear that Hillary and the media are trying to sell the idea that there is an election fraud and that Trump's going to lose by a landslide when the polls and everything else show something opposite? Let me put it this way. Uh, of course, things have been very surprising of late, but if she is still viable in any way, whether or not she wins, she will win. Wow, please say that again. Whether or not she wins, she will win. Now, she may be from, removed from office afterwards. And, and as you may recall, Richard Nixon was right in the middle. He had been four months into Watergate scandals and was reelected and removed from office later. Um, but what's so disturbing about that is, you know, there's actually some Republican elites who might prefer getting her in and removing her from office. Oh, of course, of course, of course. They can't control. Of course, exactly, exactly. The whole power structure uh, is against Trump. I mean, whether he's perfect or good or bad, I mean, if we claim we're against the corrupt power structure, then how can we not be for Trump? I mean, I'm sorry. Well, you know, and I, I really feel like this is a, I'll say this as well. Um, whatever anyone thinks about the candidate, I will say that when he has brought to the front the issue of tampering with elections. It's one of the most important services that could have been done in the United States ever. Really important because it was taboo for the media to talk about it. And it forced them to talk about it. Now they put a whole bunch of, you know, happy faces on it. Well, it can't be done because blah, 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 uh, which was kind of nonsense, but it forced it out into the public, into the open. And I think you know, that's the kind of the beauty of actually having the real public actually pick their candidate is because you may, you may get someone who, at, you know, at first glance, you, you kind of go, eh, I, I don't know about that. But it can make the pendulum start to go back the other direction when that happens. And I just think that that, that alone was just so important because we cannot, I mean, if not now, then sometime, if we keep doing these unauthenticatable um, mystery elections, there will be a perfect storm, and there could be something that becomes very destabilizing. 